Welcome to Made in Alberta. This December, a Canadian delegation will be joining the rest of the world in Copenhagen for what's shaping up to be the most important meetings in the history of humanity. Essentially, we're planning a global new energy transition. And as we've learned, global problems require local solutions. What we do now can have a huge impact on the climate toward the end of the century when the worst of the problem will occur if we continue with business as usual. So my view is that we ought to be investing in reducing our greenhouse emissions now to protect future generations of humans. Alberta's electricity sector is responsible for one quarter of our total provincial greenhouse gas emissions, plus other environmental pollutants. Alberta's Pembina Institute released a study that showed how we can meet even a doubling of electricity demand while greening our grid. The electricity in Alberta is generated using coal for the most part, it's about 70 percent coal, and so there is a huge amount of carbon dioxide pollution, uh, mercury emissions, and acid rain precursors that uh, come as a result of burning coal. So we wanted to look at what the potential is in Alberta, what could we be doing differently, how could we clean up that system, and how could we turn it to a green energy system. Electricity demand will increase because of efforts to battle climate change in other sectors. We're talking about electric heating with ground source heat pumps, we're talking about uh, electric cars or plug-in hybrids, um, so there's going, to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of energy systems that are currently not electric that are going to be in the future. And so that really is going to increase the importance of renewable electricity. In Alberta, we're benefiting from investments made into our electricity system in the last half of the 20th century. But coal-fired generators don't last forever. Several of the existing coal power plants are going to be coming offline or are going to be need to be replaced over the next 20 years. So, so there is not only this gap in terms of growth, but there was also a gap in terms of supply. And so that was, the, that was the, the amount of power that we were looking at in terms of what needed to be added to the, the electricity system. Greening the grid outlines a couple of scenarios to double our electrical supply over 20 years. The first just fills the gap when the coal generators are phased out. The second, which anyone would be proud to take to Copenhagen, replaces all coal-fired electricity with renewable sources from right here in our province. We looked at um, what quality and quantity of, of water, of crops, of uh, wind, of solar, of all these different resources um, that were out there and how the current technology for harnessing those, what the cost of that technology is and how quickly can that technology be put into the ground based on what other countries and other jurisdictions have already done throughout the world. Join us next time as we learn about the suite of renewable energy possibilities for powering Alberta through our transition and into our sustainable new energy future.